y'all, I'm going to show you how to make three appetizers really quick and really under about nine minutes. So the first thing I'm going to do is start some candied nuts. And I will turn this so you can see more of what I'm doing. I have got one half cup of pecans is how we say it in the South. I know a lot of you are gonna come at me. It's pecans, pecans, pecans. But either way, whatever you wanna call them, they're delicious. And then I'm gonna put in one half cup of sugar. Okay. And then I have got two tablespoons of water. So I'll put that in and you do need to put it in in this order when you're using the pop and stir. And then I am doing these today with this savory maple seasoning. Y'all, this stuff is delicious. So <clears throat> I have one teaspoon of the seasoning. Um, you can use cinnamon, you can use French onion. I've done them with Snickers seasoning. You can make them spicy if you want to use garlic or a, a hot spice. You can make them any flavor you want to, but today it's savory maple. And there's just a little bit of this vanilla left in here and I need about a half a teaspoon. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that in. And I think that will call that jar done. All right, so now all we have to do is switch this to the nut setting. Let me look, make sure, yeah. And it's gonna start doing its magic. So while that is going around, it's gonna take them about eight or nine minutes. I'm gonna get my other appetizer and start on that. Okay. I know you wanna watch those nuts too, but I'm gonna turn you so you can see a little bit of both. I have already cooked one chicken breast and I sliced it in half because it was real thick. So I've already cooked this chicken breast in the mini deep covered bacon. And all I did was add just a little bit of salt and pepper and I cooked it for just five minutes. So now I'm gonna take these salad choppers. It's not completely done, although it may be it. I got them thinly cut here so it pretty much looks done. But y'all, I'm telling you, when you cook chicken in the microwave, a lot of people say, oh my goodness, it's gonna taste like rubber, but it does not. Um, I can tell it's not really done because normally it would just shred, shred easily with these scissors if it's completely done. So even though these are called salad choppers, y'all, um, mine see a lot more meat than they do greens and salads. I wish y'all could smell these nuts while they are cooking. It's gonna be so yummy. Okay, so now I am making a buffalo chicken dip. I'll move this out of my way. So in here, and while my nuts are going around, I'm kind of take this spatula and just kind of spread them out as they're going. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna make y'all dizzy today. Back to my chicken dip. I've got four ounces of cream cheese and I'm gonna put that in. I have got one half cup of ranch dressing. So I'm going to pop this in. And I also need one fourth cup of hot sauce. I like to use, um, Frank's Red Hot. So that's what I'm going to use. I better shake that up a little bit. And I love using the measure all cups because we can just pour ingredients right in those. Solid and sticky ingredients especially and not have to try to dig them all out of a measuring cup. I'm going to pause for a moment. Y'all see that bubbling? It is cooking and doing its magic. And I'm getting a facial <laughs> of maple, um, savory maple, and it smells delicious. So now in goes my hot sauce. I'm not even gonna stir this, because it's gonna go back in the microwave. The only other thing I need is a little bit of shredded cheese. Sometimes I'll wait to the end and add it, but I'm gonna add in 
some now and I may add some to it when it's done. And I will share all of these recipes with you. I got a nut over here trying to get away, y'all. So you don't have to worry about writing all these down. Okay, so now I have got all of that in here. Mm, that's still a little bit warm. I'm gonna pop this back in the microwave. I'm gonna do five minutes and see what we have. Okay, let you peep at these nuts. When these are cooking in the pop and stir, you can still see some mixture in here. Um, I just kind of keep spreading them around and as it goes and heats up, it's gonna coat these nuts in a sandy, delicious mixture. Okay, so nuts is one, buffalo dip is two, and it's already in there cooking. So now let's move this cheese and work on our next one. This one is a pumpkin dip, and that is one of the reasons I'm cooking these savory nuts today for this pumpkin dip. So, in the pumpkin dip, I've got four ounces of cream cheese. So, I use four ounces in my chicken, buffalo chicken, and I've got the other four ounces in here, and I've got it soft. I've got one-fourth cup of brown sugar. So, in that goes. And I have got one cup of solid pumpkin. I'm going to put that in. Okay. And, oh, I need this. We also need one cup, you can see those marks right there. We also need one cup of whipped topping. And we also need two, I think it's two, let me look. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, one tablespoon of maple syrup. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the syrup in. Many of you have probably made a very similar pumpkin dip. Oh, let me let you look at these nuts. See, it's bubbling again. I have one to get away. I'm just trying to watch for that sandy texture on them. Ooh, y'all. Smells so, so good. Okay. I should have got a napkin for my hands. Now, I'm going to take my Cool Whip topping, and you can make your own um, simply with heavy whipping cream and powdered, uh, powdered sugar to make your own. It's not quite thawed out as much as I wanted it to be, but we're gonna make it work. One cup of that. Probably getting pumpkin all over my hand. I should have got my other scoop and spread out. <laughs> okay. Did y'all see that nut fall off? Let me put it back. I'm gonna get a napkin and I want to tilt you down and let you see these. Man, they smell delicious. I know y'all tired of hearing me say that, but they certainly do. Now you can see that, oh, sandy texture. <laughs> Got my napkin in the camera view starting to appear and all of that liquid that we saw in there earlier is almost gone. So that's a quick little sign that they are almost done. And I'm gonna let them go just another minute or so while I put this whipped topping in my pumpkin dip. All right, so this is it for the pumpkin dip, y'all. And it's the time of year that we're looking quick holiday appetizers and this is definitely one of them. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. I'm losing nuts here. <laughs> and let them sit on this cooking plate. This pop and stir is completely um, dishwasher safe, y'all, but I usually just wash mine by hand. It doesn't make a big mess at all. And I, when I do something sticky like this seasoning, I will um, normally just run some hot water on it as soon as it's through. And 
and it cleans up, so just about to wipe it off with a rag and hot water. Ooh, this smells good too. So I'm getting all that cream cheese, pumpkin, brown sugar, maple syrup, and Cool Whip topping. I've got my recipe over here. Oh, you know what? I forgot to add in some cinnamon. Where is my cinnamon? This is optional, but I do like to add a little bit of cinnamon in mine. Okay, maybe that was a lot. <laughs> oh, but anyway, what's pumpkin without some spice, right? My chicken is done. Or I think it is. We put it in, remember that with buffalo dip, we put it back in there just for five minutes. So I cooked it before I come on. I cooked the chicken with just salt and pepper, no juice, no anything. Um, I cooked it for five minutes. And then you saw me add in my ranch dressing, buffalo sauce. Oh, what else did I add in there? Cream cheese and shredded cheese. And I could keep stirring this because my cream cheese is not really as blended as I like it to be, but I don't want to make you guys keep waiting. So I'm going to, I've got a bowl here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of it in this bowl. Well, actually you could put it all in this bowl. This is one of the bowls from our entertaining set. And these bowls are even oven safe and microwave safe. Y'all look at that, look at that. All right, so now let me get my chicken out and see what the buffalo dip is looking like. Let y'all stare at these pecans. Pecans, pecans. things out of my way. Don't they look delicious? All right, so let's see what we have here. Ooh, look at that yummy, yummy, yumminess, y'all. Put this lid right over here somewhere. Now, I've got another spoon somewhere. I've lost it, y'all. Know what I did with it, so I'll just take this one. Tilt you down so you can see this good. So that cream cheese has melted. You can double this recipe. I just made half um, for us today. Woo! Now I'm getting a cream cheese facial, y'all. <laughs> yum yum. So I'm going to stir this up well, and then I'm going to put some more of that cheese on top. I'm getting it all over me. It's okay. Y'all tell me. Messy cooks are good cooks, right? Have mercy, that looks good. And you can serve this right out of this beautiful deep-covered baker. Or if you're going somewhere, you can put it in something to take, with, take it with you or in a different serving bowl right on your table, whatever you want. But it is it's a pretty dish to serve in, and the stoneware will keep it nice and hot. So let me get my cheese. And I'm gonna put just a little bit more shredded cheese on top. Woo, yum, yum, yum. I'm gonna put the lid on this and let it sit for a minute and show you one more thing. What did I do with my lid? Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for just one minute. Right over. Now I'm telling you, I got stuff everywhere here, but I'm I'm keeping it together pretty good. <laughs> now I want to show you the nuts. So I've got some parchment paper here. And so you can see what I'm doing. I just lift this cooking tray and then I'm going to take these nuts and dump them right on this parchment paper. Ooh, have mercy. 
I'm gonna move this over a little bit now. Y'all look at that, look at that. And that looks scrumptious. You can see, hopefully, the coating on all of these nuts. My lighting's probably not very good. Man, they look good. So I'm gonna take just a few of them and put in the food chopper. Not many, because I want to keep these to eat myself whole. So I'm gonna chop just a few of them in the food chopper to put on um, top of my pumpkin meat. Okay, so I've got my pumpkin dip here. And I'm just gonna sprinkle those right on top. And as people start serving and dipping, those nuts will get mixed in there. I love the food chopper, y'all. Um, it really chops up meats, nuts, chocolates. Oh, look at that. All right, one last thing to show you, and then we're gonna take a final look at our buffalo dip. Before I came on, I took a pie crust and I cut it with the crinkle cutter, and I'll share a picture of that at the end of this video. So I cut that pie crust with a crinkle cutter to make these cute little shapes, and I sprinkled them with cinnamon and sugar and baked them. I took, you can make them in like, long little french fry shapes if you want to and that was some of the edges of my crust you can see this one was the edge of my crust so i made these for the pumpkin dip and this is something that you will love you want to definitely make more than one pie crust of these so i'll just kind of move these over a little bit and this is our white glazed pizza stone and i'm going to put this delicious dip right in the middle just like that, in just minutes, we have all of these appetizers. Quick and easy, um, and you can make most of this ahead of time if you needed to. The nuts are definitely delicious made ahead. Now look at that coating on those nuts. Okay, so now, one final look at this. I cannot wait to dig into this. <laughs> And then uh, I'll show you my buffalo chicken. So let me move this out of the way. Okay. Woo, that's still hot. Y'all supposed to remind me. <laughs> you know, I'm bad for touching hot things and making a mess. All right, so let's see what we got now. Move my lid. Y'all just look at that. Now these I would probably serve with crackers um, or some scoops, but look at that creamy, delicious dip. I'll see that cheese, yum, yum. And again, this is something that can be served right out of this bowl. And it's actually a pretty healthy dip if you're following low carb diet or keto. Um, this would be a good one for you. And it's got all of those chunks of chicken and cheese in there. Have mercy. It is going to be delicious. All right, so there we have our buffalo dip. Let's see if I can bring this higher a little bit and scoot you back, and I'll try to get them all three here where you can see them. Okay, so we've got our buffalo dip. We have got our candy nuts. And we can put those around the platter with our pie crust crackers and uh, pumpkin dip. So that is it. Easy peasy. We'll just do it like this. Put those right there. And your guest will not want to leave. So if you want your company to come and leave quick, don't serve this <laughs> because they are not going to want to leave. Now look at that, especially when they eat some of this uh, buffalo dip too. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will have all of these recipes in the comments. If you have any questions on the product I use, feel free to comment and I'll 
put my website with all the products for the catalog in the description above the video. Which one should I eat first? I'm, I'm probably going to do the crackers. Mmm, pie crust crackers. You just can't go wrong with cinnamon pie crust crackers, y'all. And a nut. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. I'm telling y'all, that pop and stir is magic. Ooh. Y'all better send help because I just can't quit eating these little delicious pecans. Pecans, whatever you want to call them. The savory maple is kind of a new seasoning to us. And they knocked it out of the park. It is delicious. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to go sample some of all of it. Y'all have a great night. Bye-bye. Okay, one last look of everything together. Here is my delicious cheesy buffalo dip, buffalo chicken dip, and my pie crust cinnamon sugar crackers. Now look at those savory maple nuts and the pumpkin dip. It is delicious.